In this video, we'll be looking at the important concept of vapor pressure. An understanding of vapor pressure will then help you further understand um, phenomena like freezing point depression and boiling point. So let's go through vapor pressure nice and slow. Vapor pressure. The pressure exerted by a gas that is at equilibrium with its liquid. So let's draw what that might look like. Here's a flask. And in the flask, we have water. Now you know that over time, the liquid water would begin to evaporate. As the liquid water evaporates, it enters the vapor or gas phase. And these gas molecules uh, move all around in straight lines, randomly in all directions. And some of them, of course, escape out the top of the flask. Okay, now let's say we have a flask, but this time we decide to place a stopper on the flask. Now, what's going to happen in this scenario? Well, just like before, the water begins to evaporate. And it begins to move around. But because this is stoppered, none of these water molecules are able to escape and leave the top. Now, you know just through everyday living that if there is a sample of liquid water here and you capped it up and you came back later, that, of course, there would still be some water in there. It's not that all of the water evaporates, just some of it evaporates. In fact, we don't see this happening, but what's going on at the microscopic level is that some of the water molecules are entering the gas phase, and at the same time, some of the ones in the gas phase are re-entering and joining the liquid phase. So what we have is a dynamic process, not visible to the naked eye, but it's certainly happening. The liquid is turning into a gas, and the gas is turning into a liquid. So when stoppered, equilibrium will be reached. Equilibrium is when the same number of water molecules leave the liquid as return to the liquid. So this liquid and this vapor are at equilibrium with one another. So evaporation and condensation are happening at the same rate. Now we know from our study of gases that this gas will exert a pressure. Well, that's what vapor pressure is. The pressure exerted by a gas that is at equilibrium with its liquid. So this is the gas that's exerting a pressure. The pressure that it's exerting is called the vapor pressure. So in review, the gaseous water molecules produce collisions and exert a pressure. This is called vapor pressure. Now, don't get tripped up by the concept of equilibrium. Equilibrium means the rate of evaporation is equal to the rate of condensation. Got that? It means that the number of molecules leaving will be the same as the number of molecules returning. Here's something that is not true about equilibrium. It is not true that there's the same amount of liquid water as there is gaseous water. Students oftentimes think that, that the amount of liquid water is equal to the amount of gaseous water. That is not true. The only thing that's equal is the rate of leaving and entering. That is equal, and that's called equilibrium.